So I'm just here at a client's house today. We are adding a constant power plug. Because right this I had already added this quite a few years ago. And it just controls their outdoor lighting here. This is just a switch that turns them on and off. So we are going to add a plug in line here for constant power for the irrigation and whatever else they want to plug in then they have at least constant power and then switch power up top. I'm going to grab my tools and we'll get started. Okay so first step first we're just going to take off this cover Switch off here. Bottom is power, top is up to the switch. We know that we're up to the plug because we know that the power is coming from the bottom and doesn't go anywhere from the top. So The reason I'm doing this is so that I can pull these wires back down here. This way I can pull them back to the LB, then I can cut the pipe where we want to put the outlet. I can put the outlet in and then we can, I can just push them back, take my extra wire that I brought, run it between, easy peasy. So then we're just going to pull this back down here. That way the pipe is clear and I can cut the pipe without worrying about hitting the wire. Let's pop the strap off out of the way. Because I'm thinking there, then I can strap in between, put a strap on the bottom. better it's still saying we're out but I've got a little bit more I'll pull it in with my glue then we're just gonna glue this back together if your glue can glues itself shut grab your wall channel locks, open her up. 
Next, make sure that your glue does not run everywhere because it's a finished surface. And just glue up your holes. Let's throw that on this side first. And then we can throw that there. Still a little touch low, but much closer than we were. This is probably a little bit set in place from before. Couple screws. We'll just push this back through the pipe. I'll just catch it here. That's the same that we had before. there. We'll splice that. Take this guy. Might as well just strip a bunch. this guy because we need the ground for the plug and then we need ground to carry through up to the other plug so we'll just splice these together toss a wire nut on them Go back up there. We'll fold these in, and we just have that'll go to our GFI. And it's just a matter of prepping everything and putting the plug on. So we got, and we're just going to use the line side and not the load side because we are not going to use the GFI in line with the other GFI and cause a bunch of nuisance problems. But let's terminate up here first. That way this is all safe and there's no point having more than one potential live spot. safe. Can't shock ourselves on here. All we have to do is put the cover on after we ensure it works. So next up 
Here's our GFI. Got a little bit of a whoop de doo here. just like that. Now we can test. Everything should just be going straight through like normal. Yeah, okay. And then just press our reset button there. Take our plug tester. It's working, it's very poorly illuminated, but illuminated. And it works, reset. It's or it tests, resets, perfect. Now I'll put some covers, put all my covers back on. A couple straps. your end result ready for their new everything I would plug this in but I don't know what's gonna happen if I do so we'll leave it unplugged now I just got to clean up but that's the end result